It's called LIGO, short for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. Each LIGO lab is a real-world version of the interferometer Weiss envisioned, made up of two arms extending four kilometers in length. The size is key because the tiny stretching and squeezing effect increases in proportion to the length of the interferometer. The longer you make it, the more the mirrors move and the easier the signal is to detect. Also key is state-of-the-art optical and laser technology. Mirrors, polished to a precision never before attempted. High-powered lasers, among the most stable in the world. LIGO is the work of hundreds of scientists, engineers, and students. The LIGO Scientific Collaboration, based at the labs and at dozens of universities around the world. Their goal? To measure the movement of mirrors down to a thousandth the diameter of a proton. And that's something no one has ever done before. It's something that requires um, pushing the limits of technology in every sense. And what usually limits you when you're trying to measure something better than ever before is noise. What physicists call noise is a host of vibrations and other disturbances that can shake the mirrors and mess up the data. Welcome to the modern world. LIGO scientists have always known that to detect a gravity wave from space, they'd have to isolate the signal from the noise on Earth. The challenge is like trying to make out a tune from across a busy city. You need to know what you're listening for, and you have to separate it from all the surrounding noises. That's not so easy. The LIGO labs were built in quiet rural areas, but their instruments are incredibly sensitive. If a tree falls in the forest, they hear it. LIGO's Louisiana site is surrounded by logging, but that's just the beginning. Even waves thousands of miles away can affect LIGO's instruments. Then there are the earthquakes, windstorms, volcanoes. The whole planet is shaking and vibrating. Everything else on our planet wants to move the mirror more than the gravitational wave does. So the big challenge is how do you keep a mirror so still against all of these other external forces that are trying to push on it so that it'll only move when the gravitational wave comes by. The answer begins with one of the largest vacuums ever made. A laser beam can travel down LIGO's long arms without the distorting effects of air and remain stable as it bounces back and forth between mirrors. The mirrors themselves are cushioned with a suspension system that cuts outside noise by a factor of 10 billion. Springs and weights absorb movement from the ground. Vibrations are further reduced by fine wires that suspend the mirrors. If any remaining vibrations get through, a series of tiny magnets nudges the mirrors just enough to exactly counter them. The ultimate goal is to approach the very limits of measurement, down to a scale so small that quantum laws turn the straight lines of a ruler into a tangle of fuzzy impressions. Even with noise reduced to the lowest possible level, LIGO must still be able to tell when an incoming signal really is a gravity wave. That's one reason two identical labs were built, separated by 1,900 miles. If both labs pick up the same signal, chances are it's not noise from Earth, but a gravitational wave from space. Once detected, these waves can be electronically converted to sounds Sounds you can hear. Take neutron stars in the act of merging. They make this wonderful chirp. It's a cosmic chirp. And it would sound something like, whoop. It goes up, mm, like that. Mm. And that combination of the observations that we make together with numerical simulations, I expect will revolutionize our understanding of general relativity and its consequences. 
if the team can track down these titanic explosions, they can go after the biggest explosion of them all. LIGO holds this amazing potential to go back to the beginning, to the first moments of space and time. The Big Bang. It takes you all the way back to the instant of creation. Now imagine such a concept. Now, nobody's guaranteeing us that we will see something from that. But gravity waves are the only way you will get information from that epoch. That alone is a justification for doing everything you can to try to detect them. The hope is this new science will take physics even beyond Einstein's great theory and one day yield discoveries about space and time as fundamental as the discovery of the atom. Most of what we know about the universe comes from electromagnetic radiation. LIGO as a project is important because it's going to potentially open up a new window on the universe. As the search for gravity waves begins, LIGO is inspiring kids and adults alike. Stargazers like these are actually becoming part of the action. Oh, cool. Because the LIGO team needs such vast computing power, it's turning to homes with computers all across the country, tying them together in a vast network. Anyone who wants to help can join the search for gravitational waves through a project called Einstein at Home. Gravity waves are rumbles in space that they're searching for. They look for them a lot. From these ranks may well come the next generation of gravitational wave explorers. I hope I never stop stepping back and looking at the big picture and saying, instead of trying to get this one piece of electronics to work, I'm trying to detect gravity waves. And that's something that, when you stop and you think about that, there's a moment of wonder there. You say to yourself, what on earth am I doing here? This is incredible. I think that's what characterizes many scientists. They are people who never lost their childlike wonder about the universe, and they're still driven by that childlike wonder. LIGO is now attempting to filter out the noise and pick up the symphony of space-time. To make out the tune in the cacophony, the melody that echoes across the universe. And we're now on the verge of being able to listen to the music being played on the fabric of the universe to what you might call Einstein's symphony. That's what LIGO and its sister projects are all about. History has shown the great discoveries in science usually occur when revolutionary instruments provide new means to explore the universe. LIGO gives us a fresh set of eyes, an entirely new way to uncover the universe's deepest mysteries. Today, LIGO stands on the brink of discovery. A dream for decades, it's now a reality. A new branch of science just being born. An observatory unlike any other. Ready to hear the music of the cosmos echoing from the most distant reaches of space and time. Don't no, 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 it's right here on my computer.
a short. Okay. okay. Just lift that gun. Because you see, if I have messed up somehow. Oh yeah, okay, okay I see what you mean. I, so I, you've made a. If I made a ground, that could have that could have done you a job. Okay. 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 You wouldn't do that though. Oh, would of you? course I could. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs>